Can you drive a Class B RV as your regular mode of transportation, everyday transportation? Well, my opinion has changed a little bit. I'm gonna talk about it right now. Hey there, welcome back, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. And as many of you know, I'm sitting in my 2007 Pleasureway XL TS. It's actually built on a 2006 Ford E350 chassis. I love it. It doesn't even have 30,000 miles on it yet. Three years ago, from a couple out of uh, Toledo, Ohio, and they just took such good care of it, but they had like little, little, little mileage on it. So um, we're, we're happy with it, we love it. And um, I've done a lot of videos on this Class B van. Um, and in the past, people have asked me, well, is it really good for the pr a primary mode of transportation? In other words, could you, could you use this instead of your car for everyday transportation? And in the past, my answer was always, I give a lot of reasons, pros and cons, but my conclusion was always, I don't really recommend it. After having driven it even more and more and more, I'm changing my answer a little bit, and I'll explain really right now. It, a Class B van is not like driving a car. It's not like driving a little Volvo or Toyota or Ford or anything like that. It's, it's a big, heavy vehicle. It does take a lot of gas. It, um, well, when I say a lot of gas, it's, it's all relative. This gets roughly 14 miles to the gallon, which is not terrible for something this size. It's not really that bad, but it's not gonna be anything close to a little car you're driving around either. Um, the good thing about it is it can, you can use it as a car to fit into parking places and shopping centers. Um, it drives pretty easily. And the more hours I've put behind the wheel, I'm changing my mind a little bit because if you really want to use this as your primary mode of transportation, everyday commuting, I'm gonna say the more I drive it, the more comfortable I get, I'm gonna say go for it. Um, there are disadvantages, of course, but the advantages might actually outweigh the disadvantages. You might say, well, it's so expensive and it's so heavy and it's so difficult to drive and it takes a lot of gas. Yeah, but having another vehicle is gonna cost you a lot of money as well. Having a vehicle, think about how much that would cost you. 20, 30, $40,000, having insurance on that, um, paying for upkeep and maintenance and everything, storage, whatever you wanna do with it, that's expensive too. So. Um, I'm going to say, as long as you're not doing a lot of heavy duty city driving, I, I just don't think this would be a fun vehicle to drive all around a, a very, very busy city. Um, and as long as your commute is not incredibly long, um, I'm going to say this RV, a class B RV can be used, can be used in certain, certain circumstances as a primary vehicle. And there are a lot of advantages too. Let's say you're driving to work and you get hungry or you get tired. You got a full kitchen, you got a bathroom, you got a microwave. Um, so there are some advantages. You get stuck in a tremendous traffic jam. <laughs> you pull over to the side and go to the bathroom if you want to. You got a built-in bathroom. Um, you got food, you, got, you can store clothes, you can take a nap um, at a truck stop. You put down the bed and, and take a three hour nap if you want. It's a hotel room on wheels. So I don't do it, but yes, if you want to use your Class B RV as an everyday vehicle, it's not terrible. It can be done and there are some definite advantages to it. I hope that helped out. Um, like I said, in the past, I used to say, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. But the more hours I have behind the wheel here, the more I'm thinking, if you want to do it, why not? Either way, enjoy. I love Class Bs. They're my favorite type of RV. It's really the only RV I've ever had, Class Bs, and this is my second one. And I don't really see me changing to any other type in the, in the near future. We love it. Get a lot of use out of it. The RV Dummy, I'm Dr. Dave. See you soon.